Okay. So, um, if you guys remember, in the last video we left off here, um, we took uh, just using basic JavaScript with no jQuery. We took a first name element um, from our text box here, and we brought it together with uh, the input of our second text box, and we created, um, you know, we put our first name in here and our second uh, last name here, and then we put them together to create. Um, one combined string. Now, as I mentioned before, hey, whoa, isn't this a lot of code to do something really simple? Well, the answer is yes, it is. And so, what we're going to do now is we're going to ins we're going to use jQuery. It's very easy, really. Um, uh, you just go to jQuery here, okay, and you go to download. You click on download. And here you can see it says there's lots of different ones we can download, right? And you can also use, uh, if you want to use Node.js to install it, you can also use Node.js to install it. But we're not going to do that. It's, it's really easy. You can just go, go to the first one here. And you can see it says download the compressed production jQuery. Yeah, that's great. Because, you know, uncompressed development, maybe here you want to make modifications or something. We don't need to do that. We're not going to do that. So let's download it. Okay. And we can see it has downloaded here. Um, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to this. Um, all right, so I am going to take this over, let's see if I can, oh, we need to get our file, bring it over, and so you can see I've just dropped it in, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to Okay, so there's our file, right? Here's our jQuery file. And we could take a look at, you know, how large the file is. We can see it is 87 kilobytes, okay? And believe me, there's a lot of stuff packed in there, you guys. There's a lot of stuff in there. So now if we go, we can see that now it's in our project folder, University of JavaScript. Okay, and so what we need to do now is we need to bring that into our code here. Okay, we're going to put scripts, uh, type, text, JavaScript, um, where is our source? Where is the source of our script? And here it is. Okay. Uh, now, you guys notice here, you do need this ending script tag. Okay, so you need to make sure you have the ending one and you've got the start one when you bring that in. Okay, so we can see here's the, fi here's the file where I'm here, start. And at the same level in our project folder hierarchy is the jQuery file. So we brought it in. Now, uh, let's comment this out. Okay. Now, there is, um, in jQuery, there is a function that we're going to use over and over again. We will use this. I mean, everybody uses this, okay? And you're going to put it at the bottom of your web page, inside of your script tag, 
right near the end, right near the end of the body. Okay, and we'll do this document ready. Okay, and it's just a function that is going to be called. All right, so once your document, meaning your web page, is ready and things have been loaded, your images are loaded, your, um, your div tags, your anchor tags, everything is loaded, um, then your code can start to operate. Then, once that happens, here we have, essentially, this is what's called an anonymous function which means we don't give it a name. We just want it, as soon as it's ready, we want it to execute, okay? And so that means once your page is ready, everything in between here and here will execute, or it will wait to execute if, it's, if it is an event, right? Okay, so with jQuery, first of all, this dollar sign, it represents the jQuery object. It's very fundamental and we're going to use it quite a bit. All right. And what we want to do, we want to act on these different elements. Here we have this div, a result box. Um, here we have an, uh, a button. You know, it's just an anchor tag and we're calling it a button. And someone clicks it, we want something to happen, right? Okay, so let's say that there is an event. The event we want to think about and watch for in our code is the clicking of this button. Okay? All right, the clicking of this button here. When it clicks, we want something to happen. So what we want to do is we want to, you can say register an event. Um, there are lots of different ways of saying it, but I like to just say we want our Jerry, jQuery code, we want our JavaScript code to listen for uh, that event. We want to set up some code that listens for the occurrence of that event. And hey, by the way, you guys, jQuery, if you look in here, you know, you see this, it says it's minified. You can see that this code has been broken down to make it as lightweight as possible. So it will get into the browser and cause the least amount of waiting time. That's why code is minified. Okay. And this is JavaScript, right? jQuery is JavaScript. All right. All right. So here we are. So first what we do is we want to grab an element. Okay. So this in jQuery is where you select elements on the page. Now, if you guys remember up here, I called this button, I gave it an ID tag of button, right? And you can ignore this, this just, it, it's not that important. It just says when you click it, don't go anywhere, okay? All right, um, but uh, you should keep it in there. Uh, all right, so now remember how we refer to in our CSS file, how we refer to an element an element that has an ID tag. We use this number sign, right? Sometimes it's called a pound sign. Sometimes it's called a hash sign. There are a number of different words for it, right? So, um, we grab that thing. So now we have that button. That button is right here. It's an object and we have grabbed it and likewise I could gra I can grab and I'm going to grab this element here called first it has an ID of first here we have one of second but first let's take it one step at a time we've gotten it and 
we're going to do this. When it is clicked, we want it to execute some function. We want it to do something. Okay. So here, when it's clicked, we're going to set up another one of these anonymous functions. Okay. So essentially, the way you make a function in JavaScript is you go function hello and that's it. Now I can call hello at any time. All right. Now this is anonymous. We don't we're not going to reference it um, by a special word like hello, etc. We just want what is between here and here to execute after it is clicked. So that now we have done that. We just need to put in some code here. So now when that button is clicked, this stuff will execute. All right. So let's do this var first. Um, equals So there I grab that text box and then I use this val. Okay. And val, what is that? What is this val? So this method here, it grabs what is ever inside the text. Because if I have in here John, that is my value, right? So val, that kind of means value, all right? OK, and all right. So and then we're assigning it to first, OK? And you can ignore this squiggly line. I, I doesn't matter. Um, var second. Equals second now. Okay, bar full name equals first plus plus second. Now you guys remember before what we did was we took the full name and we we put it in this result box so I need to get a hold of I need to grab that result box Oops. result box and then we'll use this method text and we'll put in full name. Okay. Now, if we look up here, look at all this code there, right? Here, we have this much code. Okay. And I also think it's easier to read this code here. It's much quicker. And this is only the beginning of the benefits that jQuery provides. It is a framework. It is really the most popular framework, JavaScript framework out there. Um, it really is outstanding. OK, so um, let's try it. First, I'm going to refresh my page. OK. Yeah, sure enough. OK. All right. So now there are some, a couple other methods you can use. Uh, you could use, instead of using text, you could use HTML. But for that, um, if, I put in, if I put that one, I could do something like this. Um, 
Um, well, all right. Here's the thing. You can use either, but you should use the text if it's only text. If you were going to put some HTML in there, like this, then you want to use HTML. Okay? But if it's just if it's just some text with no special HTML uh, different tags and things, um, then you should just use text. All right. Um, okay. Okay, so we'll keep going on this in the next video.